guess all this intro, formal introduction was very interesting. I also um, shared with uh, with um, Eric that uh, I'm actually the daughter of two architects. My favorite color is white. Uh, thus, I used to work for Richard Meyer and Partners, and I still remain uh, convinced that the best color is white. Um, and uh, I have great friends amongst you here, uh, people that uh, I think um, uh, are great thought leaders as well in this, in, in this region. And what you're going to see is actually a bit of a, uh, you know, we've tried to uh, create a bit of a compendium of, um, uh, of work uh, that we're doing not only regionally, um, nationally, internationally, but also here at FIU campus. Um, uh, it, our firm, like Eric was saying, is, is it's a bit of an interesting uh, uh, corporation. Um, we are the, uh, if you take the, all of our sister companies, we are the largest architectural uh, firm in the world. Uh, nationally, or in North America, we are only about 1,700 people with 24 offices, and we'll see that later. But what, what is most important has been our journey since 19... 95 or so, where we went from two offices, one in Chicago and one in New York, through 24 offices to 32 right now globally. Um, we think that how we have transformed and evolved is very much what it's, 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 it's indicative of how our profession is evolving into this a sort of global platform and global thinking. And because of that, we went deep into our legacy and our roots, and we just celebrated our 75th anniversary. Um, and our, our our big sort of uh, uh, tagline uh, was ideas and buildings. And uh, we ended up thinking that actually we had to go beyond our next 25 with, with thoughts and aspirations. Our evolution has been about a firm that it's really uh, talking about a philosophy that distinguishes um, not about sort of the, the sole creation uh, of, a, of, of, a, of an object, uh, but actually we're in the business of transformational design. Uh, thus, you know, 15 years ago we made the commitment to uh, sustainability, which we now call high performance uh, restorative design. Um, uh, we we want to believe that with what we do, we can advance uh, the world and society and make it a better place. And, 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 and we take it as a personal responsibility to create solutions that contribute to the human well-being and enhance the long-term health of our planet. This is, this is something that is very altruistic about us. We're, we're, again, we're not in the business of, of sort of the egomaniacal attitude of, I just want to create something because, you know, it's so cool. It, it's about really using our craft and our knowledge and our passions to transform the world. It's bringing architecture back to the idea of, 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 of thought leadership. Um, and, and that's something that we carry deeply. Uh, and for that, we're not just architects in our firm. Um, we're actually uh, a series of disciplines and, and centers of expertise. Uh, uh, we do architecture, interiors, brand and environments, planning and strategy, urban planning. Um, actually, uh, we do a lot of research as well. We invest on research. We, we fancy ourselves and we study corporations such as Apple and um, Google, um, Facebook. And actually, the way we organize ourselves, a little bit what Eric was talking about, it was pretty much like that. It's a think tank. Um, we create and collaborate across disciplines. And, uh, and we bring innovation in these centers of expertise, uh, science and technology, healthcare, uh, commercial, civic, um, corporate, and on education. We were founded in 1935, and one of our founding members was Elio Sardin. And actually, what we did was we innovated and transformed the way kids learn in the United States. Uh, we created in 1935 a small school <coughs> in Pearl Island. And in that school, we said, just take away the walls. No more inward looking schools. They need to be um, uh, engaging nature because kids must, must start learning that uh, uh, there's not just a formal attitude about how you learn something. When you engage and when you deal with nature, you will 